This video will demonstrate the installation of the Spencer Power Treadle in a Mirix loom. For clarity of the video, I have the loom facing pretty much the opposite way it would be if you were installing it for yourself. The first step will be to remove the plastic plug in the shedding device. If you have strong fingernails, that'll work. If not, you might need to use a screwdriver or a hat pin or something or other to pry it out. Hmm. Once it's removed, you might want to save it in case you want to put it back. Next, remove the handle. If the nut is finger tight, you just need your fingers. If it's tighter, you might need to use a wrench. The motor fits in the place where the bushing came out. Since this device was designed to fit looms made over a long period of time, um, different dimensions, there's no way we can provide the motor set up to go onto your loom. You're going to have to adjust it. Start by loosening both nuts on the U-bolt a little bit. I loosened it more than necessary. It doesn't need to be that loose. You will need to put a bushing in the shedding device to fit the motor. This is done by putting the rubber cord that comes in the little plastic envelope into the slot in the bushing and inserting it into the shedding device. You want to make sure that the hole in the bushing lines up with the hole in the shedding device. This is not going to be a very tight fit, so you, you will be able to move it around a little, but it's best if you start by pushing it in right to begin with. And press it in with your thumb. I have a messed up finger. This is a little difficult for me. Once you get the bushing in, I pushed it in a little too far. If you should happen to do that, you can use a screwdriver to pry it out and line it up. Screwdriver should be able to go through nice and smoothly. If you don't have a screwdriver or are afraid to use one, you can use the hairpin cotter that comes with the kit to do the same thing. Next, insert the motor shaft into the bushing. You might need to pull the little rubber cord out of the way a bit. You want to have the hole in the motor shaft line up with the hole in the shedding device. So, you might need to fiddle around just depending on what orientation the motor shaft happens to be in. You can stick it on various ways, you can do whatever, but the simplest thing is probably to take the clip, put it in the hole, and it's a little difficult, move it so that the hole will line up with the motor in the approximate position that it will be installed in, which is just about like that. This is a little difficult doing it backwards, but that's what we're doing. So, stick it in. Again, this would be a little easier if I could see what I was doing, but you're seeing what I'm doing instead. So put the clip into the hole, press it all the way through. Now the adjustment. This is the most important aspect of having this device operate smoothly and properly. As you can see, the motor is free to flop up and down. You don't want that or it's going to make banging noises every time it switches shed position. What you do is you slide the U-bolt on the motor gently. The plastic bushing should be right in the crotch between the wooden clip and the vertical copper tube. There should actually be a little bit of motion. The motor should be able to move up and down just a slight amount. You can always adjust it later if it isn't quite perfect. Don't be worried if the U-bolt is perpendicular to various pieces or whatever. Just for your loom, put it in a position that achieves a fairly tight fit with a little bit of motion. It doesn't matter if it's straight unless you're obsessive about that. Then. Tighten up the nuts. They don't have to be really tight, just tight enough that nothing is going to slip. Be careful, it's not likely to happen, but be careful to not smash into the wires with your wrench. Now that it's installed, I have it plugged into the power supply and I remember to turn the switch on at the last minute. We can demonstrate the motion one way, the other way. This is what it should look like and what it should sound like. You can see the motor when it gets tight, strains a little bit, 
but it doesn't make clacking, clattering noises. It doesn't do anything nasty. It works nice and smoothly and should continue to do so for a long time. Obviously, this is a foot switch, and if you're using it for weaving, you will be using it as such. Uh, there are a couple of different ways you can operate the foot switch. You can operate it side to side. But we have been told by a very qualified person that the best way to do it is actually to keep your foot on it and rock it back and forth. The foot switch is actually backwards, of course, from the way you'd be using it. Again, for the clarity of the video, normally you would have the wires sticking out away from your foot. So that concludes our video. This is Spencer Chase, the person who designed this Spencer Power treadle. Yeah, you got it right. Um, I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoy designing it. Operating the foot switch will move it back and forth. As you can see, I forgot to turn the power on. <laughs> Let's do that over.